2018 has not really seen a lot of innovation in smartphones. Sure, phones have gotten larger, they all have notches now, and there's a lot of hoopla around AI. But I've also seen smartphones lose things. For example, the micro SD card slot. Phones are losing their notification LEDs and the headphone jack. But if there's one phone that's kept up with everything and also retained all of these things that I just talked about is the Galaxy Note 9. And not only that, they also managed to put in a 4000 mAh battery and the goddamn S Pen and still have everything in place. And that brings me to my first reason as to why I think that the Note 9 is the best smartphone is its battery life. Hands down, there is no smartphone in the market right now that provides a balance between performance and battery life as good as the Galaxy Note 9 compared to any flagship smartphone. Just go onto YouTube and look for comparison videos with the Galaxy Note 9's battery life being compared to any other flagship smartphone's battery life and you'd know what I'm talking about. I mean, it uses the most powerful processor at the moment and it has a huge bright display with a massive resolution to support which requires a lot of power and yet it gives you the best battery life. And guys, I use the Note 9 as my daily driver and I do not charge it through the day. I mean, I disconnect in the morning from charging and I then charge straight in the night. So for me, the Galaxy Note 9's battery life is its biggest win against any flagship smartphone in the market at the moment. Second is the Galaxy Note 9's display. It's 6.3 inches of pure, blissful AMOLED viewing experience. Hardcore resolution of 2960 by 1440 pixels. Super crisp, super bright, and super accurate. It's a little more saturated, but I guess that's why I love it. And everything is really colorful, it's rich, it's really eye-popping. And who doesn't love that on a screen? So I'm going to go ahead and blatantly say this out that I think the Galaxy Note 9 has the best smartphone display in 2018. The third reason is the S Pen. Now, I know a lot of Note 8 and Note 9 users and even fans of the Galaxy Note series in general who do not use the S Pen a lot. But I do. And that's why I've always preferred the Galaxy Note phones over the equivalent Galaxy S series phones that do not have the S Pen. And the beauty of taking down a Note anytime, anywhere, it's really useful. I use the screen write function a lot of times during the day. I mean, even if it is just to share, you know, a screenshot that's just a bit more personalized. Uh, I also use it a lot to give feedback to my team on designs that they make. It's just super convenient. And the S Pen, it now comes with a lot more functionalities that are just beyond writing. I mean, you know, you can take selfies, you can take pictures, you can launch applications. And it's just like a click away using the S Pen as a remote. So you could also control music, video playback, and control your PowerPoint presentations that you, uh, you know, do in front of people. So the S Pen can really change how you use your phone, of course, if you find the need for it. But yeah, it's not for everyone. I mean, I definitely use the S Pen a lot and very extensively, and I always look forward for the next Galaxy Note phone to come, even when I have the Galaxy S, the latest Galaxy S phone, just because I really use the S Pen a lot. The next one is an exclusive Note 9 feature and it's the capability to convert your smartphone experience into a desktop experience anywhere on any screen using just one adapter. I think that's extremely powerful and flexible. Now, I know it's not something that everyone needs or will use, but if you're someone who uses a laptop for just browsing the internet or working on documents, spreadsheets or presentations, I don't think you'd need anything else. And the last reason why I think this phone is the best is pretty much how I started the video by saying that this phone still has all the other features that you've always expected and known to have in a smartphone. It still has a micro SD card slot that you could you know, expand storage by another 512 gigs. It still has the notification LED and it's still got the headphone jack. Uh, it's got wireless charging. So just, yeah, it's just everything that's there in this phone. It's all packed. So guys, those are the top five reasons why I think that the Note 9 is the best smartphone of 2018. And I haven't even touched upon the camera, which by the way, is fabulous on the Note 9. It still is one of the best camera smartphones of 2018. But again, there are other smartphones that are equally good or better than the Note 9 when it comes to camera. So I'm not touching upon that. There are also a bunch of other things. For example, it supports Dolby Atmos. It's got wireless charging. It's got Bixby voice assistant. It natively controls a lot of smart things that are around you. Um, it's got that control built in. 
it's also got Samsung Pay. So, you know, you could, you don't have to carry your credit cards. You could just store them here and use it on any machine that swipes a card. So, and the fact that it's got the latest Snapdragon 845 processor. But again, I'm not boasting about those things just because they're also there in other smartphones. But what makes the Note 9 unique is it's got all of that and a lot more and it did not give up on any of the features that other smartphones are doing. So it's all in one, packed. That's what makes it a different phone altogether, a different league of its own.